Good afternoon from the Smoky Mountains here in Tennessee. Today we're going to be staying at the Wilderness at the Smokies Water Park Resort. I go by the legend, that's my wonderful girlfriend Molly, and in this video we're going to show you everything there is to see and do at this resort, from the indoor water park to the outdoor water park, the arcade and the rides, to the food, the bars, and of course the room. So let's go check out Wilderness at the Smokies. The Wilderness at the Smokies Resort is divided up into two different buildings. This building here is the River Lodge, and that's where your indoor water park's going to be. And then there is also the Stonehill Lodge over here. So when you hear us talk about one or the other, that's going to be where these different things are. Let's kick off the tour of Wilderness at the Smokies by talking about the crown jewel of the resort, and that is the Wild Water Dome Indoor Water Park. It's uh, pretty fun. You've got this wonderful big giant wave pool here called the Great Wave. Actually more intense than you would think it would be for such a small indoor water park wave pool, but uh, good times there. Now the heart and soul for me of any indoor water park is the water slides. And at the Wild Water Dome, they have four different water slides. They're all accessed by the same tower. My personal favorite of the water slides is absolutely this orange and white one known as the Storm Chaser. Now this ride, it's, it's a tornado style slide. So you ride with, um, I think it's between two and four people. And it, it is wonderful. The first half of the ride, really gentle, really calm. And then you go down a big steep drop into this giant funnel structure and you go up the walls of the funnel back and forth and it is a blast. Uh, first time I've done one inside like that adds an extra unique element to it as well. Uh, the big green slide is probably the longest slide in the water park that is Runaway Canyon and that's between one to four people ride down in a family raft ride and it's pretty fun. Always good to get the a whole bunch of people on a raft like that. Now there are two smaller water slides known as the trail twisters. That's going to be the yellow and the purple one and these are actually more intense than they look. You pick up some pretty good speed, and those you ride with one or two other people. Now for the family raft slides, the green one and the orange one, you don't have to carry anything up the stairs. For the smaller trail twisters, the yellow and purple ones, those you do have to bring your tube up the stairs, and those tubes are for one to two people. But overall, all slides, thumbs up. They're all pretty fun, and I like that they're all tube slides, not the biggest body slide person. Now, if you have kids, they'll probably spend a lot of time here. This is known as Washout Mountain, and it's a big splash fortress kind of thing with all sorts of different items in there. There's fountains and I don't, waterfalls and things like that. There's a buckets you could tip over onto other people, waters you could squirt at other people. There is also a little rope climb area, as well as a little kid's water slide. Now, if the kids aren't big enough for Washout Mountain, this is probably where they're going to hang out. This is the toddler section. Not a whole lot to the toddler section, as you can see here. There's one fountain-type bird box thing, a set of swings, and then probably the most adorable thing in the entire water park, and that being that beaver-themed water slide. Look how cute that is. Something very important that indoor water parks have is something like this. It's a big pool. It's actually located outside in a tent, but it's a big pool. Half of it's just for hanging out and swimming, and the other half is for shooting some hoops. And uh, this kind of thing, like a little bit too many people in there for me right now. But when it's not busy and you can just hang out and shoot hoops for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, that is an absolute blast. And I think it's important to have a pool where you can just sort of hang out and enjoy the water. And that's what the other half of this one is. Also, there's uh, lounge chairs over there, which is, you know, good to have as well. Now, the biggest thrill in the water park will be home to the Smoky Surf Rider, which is a flow rider surf simulator. And these things, they're a lot of fun. They are intense. They're wild. I believe you have to sign a waiver before you ride this one. And you do that as soon as you enter the water park. But uh, these are a blast. It's very re-rideable. Um, something you could do over and over again and try and get better at it and do more tricks. Personally, I am terrible at these things, but I do have a blast on them. I, I have a lot of fun, but I am not very talented like this person is here. Now, while it is an indoor water park, there is one small outdoor section here, and that is home to a large hot tub, a really big hot tub. Uh, you can access it by inside, and then you, you sort of go through that curtain like that gentleman did there to get outside. And it's a big hot tub, lots of places to sit down, relax. Um, I believe there are no beverages in there, though. And, but there, where there are beverages is the Surfer's Oasis. And if you're like me, you'll probably spend a lot of time there. This is the bar. And they have uh, cocktails, wines, beers, all sorts of stuff. Prices are not too absurd in here either. Like, I think the draft beers were around 5 to $6. Um, there's giant refillable cocktail type things as well. So uh, definitely some fun drinks to have while you're spending some time in the Wild Water Dome. The indoor dining establishment is Grizzly's Grill. And uh, pretty, pretty much standard snack bar type fare in here. You're talking... Uh, you know, chicken fingers, pizza, burgers. They do some fun stuff like edible cookie dough. Uh, there's also a small bar in here as well with some draft beer. I did have like a a cocktail, like a canned vodka soda cocktail by Flying Panda in here. There was something like 10% alcohol by volume. That uh, Have a couple of those and you'll really enjoy the water slides. There is also a smaller snack bar here for things like snow cones and chips. 
and this is also where you can rent lockers. Uh, I didn't rent any lockers. And then the towels are all free. You don't have to bring your own towels or anything like that. You just walk into the water park and grab one. And that is the Wild Water Dome Indoor Water Park. Uh, it's a good time. Definitely an, an easy place to go and hang out, spend a couple hours, uh, have some beers, and go on some water slides. Thumbs up for me. In the River Lodge section, there is an outdoor water park. And this looks like it has the most thrilling slides of anywhere in the resort. There is also a lazy river. Molly, I know that's something you miss. Yeah. That they did not I have love in the lazy river. Yeah, they don't have one in the indoor water park, but they got one outside. Uh, it is a, the big structure here is a six slide structure. I really like that the pink and yellow slide where you would go and then go up this big wave ball and come back. The blue slide is terrifying. That's a drop pod style slide. So you stand on the, the a pod and then the floor drops out and then you go and you go up and down. And then these look like a lot of fun. Those are gonna be four mat racer slides. Uh, those are a blast and it's a pretty big drop. So you probably pick up some pretty good speed. Uh, this slide tower definitely looks like a lot of fun. While the main indoor and outdoor water parks are located at the River Lodge, there is one located over here at the Stone Hill area, and that is called Salamander Springs. Obviously, it's a little bit chilly, and we're here on a weekday, so this is not open. But you can see it does have a, a two-slide complex, a small pool kind of thing, and then a, a kid's splash fortress area. We've got some neat animals and stuff on it, and a toddler area as well. Probably a, a good area for the little ones. Now we're going to take you a walk through the Adventure Forest, which is the Family Adventure Center. And this is a pretty cool spot. Um, arcade and attractions over here, all inside. So you can see the big ropes course, a three-level ropes course. Tons and tons and tons of arcade games. Very lot. Yeah, a lot of new stuff. Uh, we did book this through Groupon. So if you book through Groupon, you got a $50 arcade credit. And uh, so we just played a whole bunch of games. A really cool kids play area, very tall, and lots of modern games. Again, I, I love ropes courses, I think they're a lot of fun. Also great use of space putting that over your arcade. As we move along, and they do have a couple of larger scale attractions here as well. You've got an adorable frog hopper. You've got a laser maze. Uh, there's laser tag over here as well. And there's a moonshine themed blacklight mini golf. I wanted to play that, we just don't, we're not gonna have time for it unfortunately. But uh, I, I love moonshine themed anything, so moonshine themed blacklight mini golf, pretty neat. More video games. We've got a big rock ball. It uh, looks like it gets pretty hard towards the top on some of these. In this barn area here, you've got mini bowling. I like the, the theming details. And then let's see what else do we got. You do have a snack shack that serves draft beer and uh, pretty decent looking snacks. And that's the adventure area. Got a little closer. It's been about 70 million years since my last meal. The arcade has quite the shooting gallery. With a skater. And a gopher. Very well done. Very well done. Very well done. Some of the pricing for the Adventure Forest. Mini golf is six dollars, the flog hopper is four, laser tag is eight, ropes course twelve, laser maze four, climbing wall six, bowling is five. Now you do have different types of fun passes as well, which I like, especially the stay pass. Like if you're staying here for a like you know a week or so or five days, you know, you can do these as many times as you want, which I imagine is very popular with kids. And you also have some mega passes. Good to know if you're visiting the resort on the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, the games are half price until 10 a.m. Here's the lobby area for the the River Lodge. Kind of disappointing. I was expecting something like big and grand, like you know, Wilderness Lodge at Disney World. Way more. Uh, Way more lodge low key. And, yeah. In cabin feeling. Yeah. 
For dinner this evening, we're going to eat at the Thirsty Miner Restaurant, which is right by the indoor water park in the River Lodge area. Look at that bear with the TN, or TNT. Yeah, I'm pretty Dynamite. sure he's trying to kill that miner. I don't know, he looks dry. So the appetizer course has arrived. We got buffalo cheese curds. Which I don't think I've ever heard of buffalo. No, and you get a ton of them. Uh, we're drinking some large beers. Nothing fancy. It's, it's Bud Light, but it's only six fifty. Yeah. We're looking at they're probably twenty three ounces or so. And uh, the menu here is relatively reasonable. Um, you know, pretty much most things are under twenty bucks. We're on the back side here. Uh, feel free to pause this if you want to see any part of the menu in detail. But you know, for a uh, you know an indoor water park or water park resort. Very reasonable Yeah, the price. prices are not bad. So, the dinner is served. I ordered the dinner special, which is a 10 ounce New York strip. Which is such a good deal. Yeah, 10 ounce New York strip, $13. Uh, I went with double veg, uh, double potatoes instead of vegetables. Which is massive. It's like Yeah, there, there's a lot, there's a hefty amount of potatoes. Molly, you got the, the, the chicken, chicken sandwich. pesto sandwich. Mm -hmm. Which should be good. I mean, you can see the pesto on there. Yeah, it looks delicious. And uh, yeah, the prices here are very reasonable. And look at that steak. That's a very nice looking steak for $13. Yeah, very nice. If you're a fan of ice cream or uh, frozen yogurt, pretty interesting over here. Lots of different flavors, like weird flavors. It looks like six rotating in these sauces. Yeah, green apple sorbet, out. raspberry lime mojito sorbet, chocolate french good. vanilla, uh, strawberry sweet coconut. And the best thing ever, toppings. Yeah, you load up with all sorts of toppings. So there's 27 different toppings here. And that is pretty fun. In the lobby area, the River Lodge is also the Mountain Marketplace in Delhi. Which looks like kind of like your coffee shop area, which mm -hmm. is very important for the mornings. Uh, also looks like it has some pastries and other stuff. Look at the size of that piece of cake. That is a giant cake. That is a giant cake. Holy cannoli. They do like breakfast sandwiches and stuff in here as well. Bakery items? Yep, bakery items, more cakes. Cheesecakes. Blueberry cheesecake. And uh, some fun, I'm guessing, marshmallows. Mm -hmm. And then you've got some, uh, some like panini style sandwiches. Uh, panini sandwiches look like they run about ten dollars, and the personal pizzas are about eight dollars. Right by the indoor water park is the base camp mercantile, which they do have a build a bear type area. In the lobby section of the river lodge is the Firefly Bar and Grill, a uh, full bar, and they also have a happy hour. That's what we're doing right now. So you got a four dollar draft beers, five dollar wool cocktails, half price appetizers, and then a full menu. Uh, it's pretty nice. They got the game on, so that's good. Molly, how are our pretzel bites I with that one. jalapeno They're cheese? They're really hot. Really hot. They got the, the big novelty cup you could buy with this kind of refills. Really good. Of course, with this being uh, Pigeon Forge, they do have their varieties of Old Smoky. And what's really nice is I believe they do entertainment on the weekends, like Thursday, Fridays, and Saturday nights. But then outside, if you're here on a nice day, a really nice outdoor bar area as well. Love the fire pits. And a pretty chill spot. Also, one of the things in the hotel that's open later on the day we're here, it's open until 11 p.m. Right here by the squash penny machine and Pappy the fortune teller, you do have the candy cabin, which I imagine is very, very popular with the kids. Uh, it's right next to the indoor water park. It does overlook the indoor water park. And all sorts of candies. And then uh, chocolate treats as well. Yeah, those look Look really at the good. Ninja Turtle chocolate covered Oreos. That's cute. I like the white chocolate peppermint. I mean, like, those Ooh, look really good. I like the monster pops. Look at these guys. Very kind of Muppety. Yep. SpongeBob. Yep, SpongeBob. And lots of different things. Candies. If you want to get all hyped up on sugar, no shortage of places to do that. Oh, man. Now they're talking my language. Look at these truffles. Those look good. Oreo Hello. truffle. Hello, we're just looking. Cake batter truffle, unicorn truffle, brownie truffle. Uh, no shortage of nice looking treats here. This is the lobby area to the Stonehill Lodge. Pretty, uh, pretty small. 
do you I like, like the, the chandeliers. chandeliers. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're pretty neat. Oh, there is a store over here. It's not open right now. It was open yesterday. Good morning. It's breakfast time. We're going to have breakfast here at the Hidden Trail Bar and Grill in the Stonehill Lodge. Quick peek at the breakfast menu here. Uh, pretty average kind of stuff. Nothing too outrageous. Uh, prices aren't aren't that bad for a hotel. No, they're really good. And kids uh, kids do eat free if you order a, uh, a breakfast, so that's, that's good to know. I think it's at the other restaurants as well. Hidden Trail does have a bar as well. Uh, we're here for breakfast, so the bar's not open. Decent draft selection there. Yeehaw Dunkel, a Sweetwater IPA. I had one of these in the water park last night. One of these canned cocktails, really strong. Like the cherry limeade was 11%. And then uh, this has my attention. For $4, something called Slurp, which is alcohol infused gelatin. So some interesting stuff here at the bar. Breakfast is served. I just went light. I got a croissant and some bacon. Uh, Molly, big fan of biscuits, so he had to get the biscuits. But look at the size of the pancakes. Molly's hand, pancakes. And this it's is the, my face. And this is the short stack. Yes. <laughs> the Stonehill Lodge is a does have a small arcade. Very small. Uh, I would say definitely if you want to play arcade games, go to the other one at the the River Lodge. As that arcade is much much nicer, much fancier. Uh, there is also a snack bar over here, which is not open. I believe it operates when the, the outdoor water park does. Now, important part of the hotel is the room. And uh, we stayed here in 25025, which was a king room. Uh, the room's pretty nice. It's big, uh, plenty of room for stuff. I uh, do have a bathroom over here. And, uh, shower's really nice. The uh, the shampoo and the soap. The soap was really nice. The soap was really, really Towels nice. Towels are super soft. The shampoo smelled like coconut. Oh, all right. And uh, the bed was nice. I do like how it's kind of got like a log cabin, Smoky Mountain feel to the room. Mm -hmm. uh, bed was big, very comfortable. You do have your, your sink area. Always nice when the hotels have microwaves and fridges. Uh, big TV, plenty of channels. Uh, also, one thing I think is nice, you do have a DVD player. So if you have kids or you just want to bring something to watch, a very big woodsy couch and table, and even like the, the log cabin kind of like dinner table you get. And we do have a balcony, I almost said balcony stateroom. <laughs> we are not on a cruise, that's No, um, but you do have a balcony out here and uh, a lovely view of the convention center and the golf course. Uh, me and Molly are in a bit of a disagreement about if this golf course ever gets bears on it. I say it does, it backs up to the woods. I would imagine bears would like to have a, you know, dr a drink in that lake there. I'm betting they get bears. Molly doesn't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it's like gators that just... Yeah, we do have those gators every day at the golf course by us. All right, so that's our room here at the Stonehill Lodge. And of course a resort of this size would happen to have a gift shop. <laughs> like the giant bears wearing masks. Oh, and then that ding dong said we came in the gift shop twice. Oh, I love this slot. Look at that slot. Yeah. Plenty of plushies. Uh, wilderness mm -hmm. at the Smoky Soap. Mm hmm. Different. Bates Family Farm. That's cool. That is neat. Uh, I guess they, they own goats. Got cards for birthdays and celebrations. That makes sense that they would have like uh, bathing suits and stuff like that. Oh, Swimwear. They have this. Yep, uh, giant mining for gold kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, lots of kids stuff, which does make sense. Even more plushies. Uh, <laughs> more. There's no shortage of plushies here. And kids clothes. Not a lot of clothes for your adults, which is, I guess a little surprise, but uh, I guess kids would be more likely to buy stuff from here. I guess you do have some more of your adult stuff over here. A lot of kind of like... Bathing suit covers. Yeah, first. like stuff you might have forgotten. Yeah. Water shoes. Yep. You do have some, some t-shirts. Like, I would say like dad style t-shirts. Yeah. Uh, coffee mugs, like the camping coffee mugs are really nice. I do like those. All right, some more t-shirts. Not the greatest selection of uh, merchandise, but... Uh, I do like the reusable otter bag. All right, and the skip shop. 
And that'll do it for our time here at Wilderness at the Smokies. Overall, I had a pretty good time. Uh, I think the highlight for me was probably the indoor water park. Those things are a lot of fun. And especially, you know, go to the happy hour, have a drink, go on a water slide, that kind of thing. I, I really enjoyed that, especially the tornado slide. That was my favorite. Um, I thought the room was very nice as well. The room was really, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, the part that shocked me the most was uh, the food prices. It was uh, relatively cheap for the food. Yeah, especially comparing it to places like the Kalahari Resort. We've been to a couple of those mega indoor water park resorts where, you know, your food and your, your alcohol is, is very expensive or something like that. Here, I mean, I got that steak dinner for $13. And, uh, like it was the, massive. Yeah, and, and your beers are like six fifty for a draft beer. So it's really the prices here are pretty reasonable, I thought. Mm -hmm. And overall, I think I had a pretty good time. I would recommend it, if you, especially if you, you're into the water park kind of thing. It's a really nice place to stay here in the, the Smoky Mountain Pigeon Forge area. All right, guys, if you have any questions about Wilderness at the Smokies, let me know in the comments section below. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you guys didn't watch videos like this, me and Molly couldn't come and stay at these wacky indoor water park resorts. So thank you very much, and thanks for watching.